Hi guys, it's Vlad with Verge here at A4 Berlin 2012 and we're taking a look at Acer's Aspire S7. This is actually a laptop that we first saw at Computex but wanted to come back and take another look at it because this is actually very, very impressive in hardware terms and specifications. Firstly, because of this amazing thinness that it has. The first time that I took a look at it, I thought it was just a tablet with a detachable keyboard, but it is in fact a Windows 8 laptop. It runs an Intel Core i5 or Core i7 uh, low voltage processor. This particular one in front of us has a 1.9 gigahertz uh, Core i7. And it has a touchpad, it has a keyboard as most laptops. So you can unlock your home screen like so. Uh, however, it also happens to have a touchscreen and it works brilliantly well with capacity touchscreen. 11 inch display, 1366 by 768 resolution. Has really attractive viewing angles as well, that's impressive. Uh, it is framed by this Gorilla Glass frame which goes right up to the edge. Uh, so everything is covered by glass. It isn't too glossy, isn't too reflective and the glass itself is surrounded by this aluminum slash magnesium mixed body which is very strong and very firm. It's extremely impressive. It actually makes for a very, very beautiful laptop. It has this cross-hatch pattern on the top. Um, it is very rigid and very impressive. You got a few status lights down here, a couple of vents for the processor and the cooling. HDMI port, there's a couple of USB 3.0 uh, ports, in fact. Uh, and funnily enough, there's a power button over here on the side. As I say, it really reminds you of a tablet. It's so thin. You know, it, it feels like a really high, high quality, really premium device that we're looking at here. So physically it's very impressive, but there is one thing that we noticed uh, over here. And one of the issues is that it's actually a bit of a nightmare to open up. Uh, okay, so just going to unlock it here. One of the things that we noticed is that while you're using the touchscreen, the usual Windows 8 gestures do function. So you've got the, gest uh, the charm bar over on the right. You can switch between applications by coming in from the left you and bring up the menus from the tops and sides. I'm sure you're already aware of these. Pressing the Windows key switches you between the Metro interface and the standard-ish Windows 7 old school desktop interface. Uh, so that's all well and good. However, these gestures, the, the ones that are attached to the touchpad down here at the bottom, do not seem to work on this particular model. Uh, it's running Windows 8 release preview, so it is obviously isn't the final software. But it is a little bit uh, of a disturbing thing because uh, one of the issues that might pop up uh, here at IFA and generally as uh, laptop manufacturers and tablet manufacturers put together these keyboards is touchpad compatibility for gestures. So, uh, for example, there, um, if you go to the Metro UI, you should be able to swipe with two fingers, going left and right, uh, but you cannot. Uh, so you kind of have to drag your mouse to the edge and it's really not as intuitive. It's nowhere near as smooth or as fluid. It's one of Microsoft's big words with uh, Windows 8 fluidity, uh, which is brilliant when you're doing it with your finger and when you're using the touchscreen, but not so much with the touchpad. So hopefully Acer sorts this out in advance of releasing this uh, laptop on sale. We don't have any release date information. We don't have a price. Uh, all we really know is that it's amazingly thin it works really quickly, it has a really attractive display and a really attractive design and we'd like to see more of it. Actually, just a final note to say that the battery life is rated for six hours. We've taken a look over here, it's given us two hours remaining on 28% charge. Uh, a few minutes ago it gave us one hour remaining on 35% charge. So it fluctuates but that kind of gives us a good idea. It's not going to have the longest battery life in the world because it is so slim and skinny. Uh, but still, a very impressive laptop from Acer. This is the Acer Aspire S7 at EFA 2012 in Berlin.